Jen Kenyi remembers the 20th of April in 2016. It is etched in her memory like the scars on her body. The night before, Kenya, whose business was local brew, prepared to deliver her waraji orders to customers. She ran a makeshift waraji distiller in Makenke village near the Gaddafi barracks training grounds. In the morning, Kenya went to a colleague's house and sat outside waiting for a firewood delivery. It was in this seat that the bullet currently lodged in her body found her. <laughs> Her colleagues ran to see what had happened and called her landlord, who rushed her to Gaddafi Hospital inside the Gaddafi barracks. Doctor, I'll be able to and Majis. I'll be able to agambe eh or your motor mango ginger hospital. I'll listen the ginger hospital. Doctor, ginger hospital, I'll gambe a sister bola a yagalabato surgery, motor lemolago. No person commander, nay, ya jawa no kugundi, ginger hospital. Ya gambe a beer and send them a this exact spot where I'm standing is where Jen Kenyi was allegedly hit by a stray bullet while she was waiting for one of her colleagues to deliver firewood so that they would proceed with their waraji making business. The bullets were coming from the other side of the hill which is Gaddafi barracks where soldiers were training in long range shooting. Kenya was later referred to Bombo Hospital but claims she didn't receive the help she expected. Three years later, the bullet is still lodged in her body. When Kenya tried to get the bullet removed in an operation, she was told by the doctors that it would be very dangerous for her based on the positioning of the bullet. She says the pain she feels is unbearable. She Kenya is not the only one who has been affected by the stray bullets. Maori ne gansanga mu factory na labo mwana ngaduka ngajana ngamba tuno mwana amasasi gakozechi masasi gamukubiye. Mangwa go dala ne bamukwata ne bamuteka mu boda boda ne bamutusa paka Gaddafi barracks. Gaddafi barracks watu be bamutusa Gaddafi barracks ne bamudusa paka Jinjo Spito. Kenya, who before the shooting made Waraji to fend for her family, no longer works, and this makes it hard for her to provide for her children and grandchildren. No, Baba Sabala Kulongo Sabalongo Saba, Doctor Gambetta, Basobola, Bamwe Muyambi, Bamwe Kunja Muyambi, Nabana Wangi. Dr. Vincent Karuhanga says having a bullet lodged in someone's body for long is risky to the human body and brain. They can slowly exude um, lead because uh, bullets are made out of lead and then they cause lead poisoning, which can actually affect the brain. That's why most times when a bullet is lodged in the brain to avoid uh, such toxicity to the brain by lead, uh, that's why they, they should always be removed. Captain George Musing, the spokesperson of UPDF in Jinja Zone, says they usually alert the locals before they start training. It is out of range. Maybe those people had come closer to the shooting ground. And again, when we are in these other field exercises, we don't use live bullets. The locals, the locals want the venue for training of the soldiers to be moved from Gaddafi barracks. Olivia Komgisha, NTV Tonight.